Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are not wanted in the UK. As experts warn, you can't trust Harry. Facts. Welcome to Popcorn Palace. I am Andy Signor, and I think this is a lesson that everybody needs to hear, but particularly this new social media TikTok generation that shares everything for cloud. Guys, once you share someone's personal, private information, you can't be trusted again. Once you cross that line and sharing something that someone sent you in private with, you know, that you know you're talking, this is all private family or relationship information, and you decide to put it all in a tell-all book or a show or whatever you're going to do and start putting, exposing, and re revealing personal details about people. That's a line you can't come back from. It makes people guarded. It makes people realize, oh, you're just going to sell whatever you hear from me next. We just learned that Thomas Markle is learning that the hard way uh, with that Carl Larson fellow who is just exploiting any little piece of information or text he could get to the press to uh, help his own brand. And uh, that's a real reality. Like I, I make it very clear. I, I, I never drop DMs or messages from sources, et cetera. I keep that stuff buttoned up. You got it. You got it in this world. Uh, but for Harry and Meghan, they are learning the hard way. <sighs> Was it worth it? Was what you put out there worth it? Did you need to put it out there? Was calling out and putting your family on blast for not liking your wife and everything else that they've that you've now exposed on them? Was it worth losing that whole not only relationship with your family, but a whole the whole UK of people who are just like, get the hell out. We don't want you here ever again. We cannot trust you. I, I gotta say, this is so spot on. So here's what happened. So obviously we know Duke and Duchess uh, were hoping to repair their soured relationship, which I don't even know if I buy that, to be honest anymore. Uh, but royal biographer and expert Angela Levin claims that the exiled royal couple help is simply not wanted on Harry's home soil. I think they're doing this whole thing um, about they want to come back. They were going to rent a room in one of the palaces to be there so they can get help, but nobody wants to help them. Later, she told the new GB News that she simply just doesn't, the royal family simply doesn't trust Harry in case he sells whatever is said to him. You can't trust Harry. You just don't know if he's going to sell whatever you tell him to earn a lot of money, Netflix or somebody else. And, and look, I want to pause there because facts. Once you sell the secrets, which is like, you're, that's the thing you got. It's like, I'm desperate. I got to do this. All right. It's, it's my, it's the emergency button. You can't come back from it. I'm selling all the secrets. Okay. I'm going to make a quick, I'm going to make some quick cash selling these secrets. I'm going to get some attention and be loved for a little while. And then eventually that love will wane. You'll lose the attention. There will be no more money. You'll have spent it. And then suddenly your reputation is going to be a line of, wait a second. I don't trust you. <laughs> You're the person, if I talk to you privately and then you have a beef with me later, you will just drop it out there for your own gain. And that is a type of person that is coming more and more clear on the, in the age of social media, clout goblins, all these people out there. It's something you got to, everyone's got to be careful of. And, I, and it's very clear to me, I think this uh, expert spot on, they're now screwed. I see no signs of that whatsoever. Talk show Sarah Edders earlier said this month. The damage, the wounds are so deep. It's, it's going to take an awful lot and an awful long time to heal those wounds, as in getting the reconciliation help that these two want. At all end, at this stage, I just don't see any evidence whatsoever that there's a desire on either side yet to put an end to this, to forgive and forget. That's, that's why I challenge even that. I don't even know if Harry wants to be with them. He's laid his bed. And now he, you know, he thinks he's the victim. He's been wronged. But whatever grievances he and his family had, they weren't out there in a book or in interviews on Oprah sharing details about their relationship. Once you bring the world into that to suddenly make their decisions, well, all bets are off. And it's no longer a family issue. It's now become a public issue. And I could see why William and Catherine would never want to get involved with, the, with, with him again, which is just, it's sad. It's sad. Why did all this come about? We know Harry always had his own problems and he was frustrated. But I, it really came about when Megan showed up and was complaining about, oh, they don't like me. They don't do this. And sorry, Megan, you're new to all this. I know you're putting out for them and whatever else you're doing. 
uh, <clears throat> pegging. I, I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. I don't. Ooh. Um, but uh, <laughs> uh, whatever she's doing to him, was it really worth throwing your whole family overboard? And then not just a family, but your whole entire royal status. This is insane for a book that you made a quick cash on that you're going to end up spending. You're going to run out of that dough. Royal experts believe that Sussex may have pushed King Charles right to the limit. Charles, a former editor of The Sun, said the pair's mired attacks on the royal family cemented their status as pariahs. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have become total outcasts. They've had their uh, royal highness titles stripped from the royal family website. Since stepping down as senior working members, the pair hightailed it across the pond in a desperate quest for privacy. We want which they privacy. say they didn't we want, want but privacy. yes, they did. Yes, they did. We want privacy. We want privacy. We want privacy. We want After settling privacy. down in Montecito, the couple sat down for a bombshell interview with Oprah, followed by the release of the of six-part Netflix documentary, as well as Harry's protocol-shattering memoir, Spare. But yeah, once you tell that story once and you give up all the secrets, there's nothing else to tell. Harry's learning that the hard way. He's now even forced to ask permission to stay, which I don't even know if I buy he's doing because then he knows they're going to say no and that's probably not something he wants to face, but he's pretty clueless. I'm curious, leave in the comments down below. Do you think he even would go and ask permission? But you can tell her desperate because now Megan's figuring out, okay, well, I can't rely on being his plus one anymore. I can't rely on being Prince's lady because clearly that that could all fall through. Who knows? Well, these rumors of divorce and everything else. So yes, yeah, she's expected to launch this re new blog, like a goop like site called the TIG, re bringing it back. And yeah, now the rumors are she's expected to team up with some brands to, to flog 88 pound leggings and 56 pound candles just cause she's going to be now the high end brand of, Oh, do you want to live like the Duchess? And I'm sorry. Like even Gwyneth Paltrow has acknowledged it's just a, business. She doesn't believe in half the stuff she puts out there. She doesn't. It's money. It's business. It's money. And if anything, Gwyneth Paltrow has earned that rate. She's a Academy Award winning actress. She's done a lot of stuff that has earned her that right. Sure. She was with Brad Pitt, but then she moved on to others, right? She's become her own entity. She's not just Brad Pitt's ex. You, when I think of Gwyneth Paltrow, I don't even really think of him anymore. She's built a brand and a, and a, and she's put in the work, right? So for Meghan Markle to now just sort of attempt to fast forward because she married a prince and starred on one show that became successful later in its run, uh, now she's going to be the person who we buy this expensive lifestyle products from? Oh, I can't wait for this to launch. I can't wait for this to launch. And yes, I'll buy some of this stuff, with hopefully with your support. <laughs> Hit a super thanks down below. Uh, drop some, some super thanks because when this launches, you bet your butt. We'll be getting some of these products to buy and make fun of. Uh, well, sorry, we'll try them. If they're good, I'll tell you, but I find it hard to believe that any uh, candle is worth, <laughs> what is it, 56 pounds. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But yes, she uh, ran this website up until her marriage, and it's her passion project, named after her favorite wine, Tignanello, transformed into a large community of like-minded people, basically cult of people who support her no matter what who read her thoughts on feminism, travel, the arts, design, and wellness. And then, yeah, she's going to sell some of these, uh, some items. Uh, and uh, very curious how this goes. But again, we'll, we'll lean more into as we get more of these stories and what's happening there. But again, this is just proof that things are not looking good. When you have to start forcing for asking permission to stay in your hometown, when you need, your wife's like, crap, I got to go bring back, I guess, all the old stuff because we're not living it the way we used to. Uh it's proving you're not wanted. You can't be trusted. This is all bad news for this couple. It's really bad news. And uh, I talked more about the fact that he's returning to the UK and what this means, why he's seemingly exploiting a charity and now being abandoned by Megan again, again, abandoned by Megan again to head on over to the UK to go do his own stuff on the anniversary of his grandmother's death. He's abandoned once again by both now his family, which Megan helped him force himself out of. And now Megan herself, while he's hyping some award ceremony on the anniversary of his grandmother's death. I mean, you can't, you can't make this stuff up. It's wild. It's wild. What are your thoughts? So down below, I want to hear your thoughts. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for all alerts, please, as well. Smash that thumbs up and leave a comment down below on your thoughts on this. Are you surprised? Do you, uh, UK watchers, do you want them over there? 
because we don't want him here either. Where does he go? Can he go somewhere else? Who wants him? I want to hear it in the comments down below. We are live over on Popcorn Planet probably right now or just wrapped. So make sure you come on over there, check it out. Or maybe we did a premiere here. Who knows? Come on over, check us out. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more here on Popcorn Palace.